Hi guys, welcome to my vlog. Today I'm going to do a informative vlog because ever since the lockdown start, all I ever do is watch news, read articles, scroll to my social media accounts, Netflix, and feed my cat. So I decided this vlog to be informative simply because I want to share information to you guys for you to understand the situations and issues that that is happening right now. And I'll be disclaimer: I'll be using my script. And this script includes a research. So yeah, let's get started. So yeah, okay. We all wish for a peaceful and great start to the year 2020 enters, but what we got is different. This year has not been a good one due to calamities and problems that our country is experiencing right now. So let's start off with the with the eruption of Taal Volcano that happened last January 20, 12, 2020, it was quite a magmatic eruption from its crater that spewed ashes across Calabarzon, Metro Manila, and some of parts of Central Luzon and Ilocos region, resulting in the suspension of classes, work schedules, and flights in the country. People refused to leave their homes and farms, officials said, while others could not leave home, could not leave because of lack of transportation and poor visibility from the thick ash being released by the Taal volcano, the government advised the public to wear face masks to avoid inhaling the ash wall that that has been released because it can cause problems in your lungs when you inhale, such as bronchitis, alveoli capillaries, according to the International Volcanic Health Hazard Network or IVH. And N I V H H N. Sorry, the ash clouds stretch about 62 miles north, forcing the officials to shut down the Ninoy Aquino International Airport, causing the cancellation more than 500 international and domestic flights, according to the Associated Press. This was the first challenge our country has faced since 2020 arrived, and we all we all thought that this is the only one or the only challenge that we will ever face. Sadly, it was just a beginning. Next, it's the number one problem that the whole world is facing right now, the COVID-19 virus. Last Jan January 30, 2020, the Philippine Department of Health reported the first case of COVID-19 in the country with a 38-year-old female Chinese, Chinese national, sorry, last March, Seven, the first local transmission of COVID-19 was confirmed. The World Health Organization announced COVID-19 outbreak as a pandemic last March 11, 2020. So what is COVID-19? Coronaviruses or COV are a large family of virus that cause illness ranging from the common cold to severe disease. A novel coronavirus or NCOV was identified last January 2020 and was temporarily named 2019 NCOV. It was subsequently named the coronavirus or COVID-19 virus. The virus that caused COVID-19 is mainly transmitted through droplets generated as an infected person coughs, sneezes, or exhales. These droplets are too heavy to hang in the air and quickly falls on the floors or surfaces. You can be infected by breathing the virus if you are within close proximity of someone who has COVID-19 or by touching the contam con contaminated surface and then your eyes, nose, or mouth. This pandemic have a big impact to our economy, businesses, to reason, or even our physiological. Now, aside from that, let's talk about the academic priest. Due to pandemic, students and teachers are requesting for an for academic academic freeze where wherein academic year will be postponed. Spark is a youth activist group who filed a request for academic year, academic freeze last June, July 2020, but DefEd denied the request. Students are and parents are struggling to this kind of educational system. It affects the mental health of the students, where some of them choose to end, end their lives and some of them got into an accident where they have to go to mountains and cities or even on the roof. So it's sad. Next. Also, yeah, 
if you may ask me, if you may ask me, it, this is also affects my health, mental health because due to my anxiety, my depression, the due dates increases my anxiety because even though I know that I work hard, I think I should push myself more because I, the standard of this online class is very high. Like they think that when you're at home, you can study very well. You know that? When you're at home, you can comfortably study. But for me, it's a no-no because when you're at home, you can interact to your classmate or ask their questions. Ask, ask them questions or yeah and get an get answer quickly for me I can't even ask my mom what is this what about that yeah and generate an ideas for my mom because it's yeah it's not connected to the topic so yeah now I feel like some of my classmates are also feel the same way like they're struggling because because of internet connection number two is yeah the surroundings because right here right now you can hear the the tricycles and other vehicles because our home are my our home is beside the road so yeah you can hear that and the road and at the back of our house there's a river and you can hear the boats yeah. from the fishermen yeah okay you may think that I'm not struggling to this kind of situation or I'm not struggling this kind of educational system but no I'm really struggling because like this vlog, I have to do this even though it's scripted and I know that my place is not good for this vlog. So yeah, but I have to, I need to have a good grades or I have to, I have to get grades for this because if not, I'll be the grades, I think so. So yeah. Hi, academic priest. But my opinion about academic priest, I get the academic priest, the goals of this, but I'm not agree because to think of to think about it, like the jobless rate in the Philippines will increase, right? Because. Companies and factories are closing right now because they can ship either out their products or yeah the product the products that they need to do such uh, shoes bags like that and if the academic freeze happened the jobless rate will increase simply because yeah the school the teachers or the professors school admins and utility workers will retrench by the will get retrenched by the school or the government so yeah uh, I think we need a concrete plan now I, now we know that I know to myself to be honest that this that this uh, uh, online class is not affected affected to me like yeah, we all know that because I got easily distracted from my phone because we need to use gadgets, right? And every time that we do that we do meeting, that we do meeting, we can help ourselves to look through our social media accounts and yeah, matter run out. We can't have to look to our social media accounts to do the chatting to others. Yeah, so yeah. Next is coping up with the new normal. So, new normal means a new way of living 
and going about our lives, work and interaction with other people. There is a lot of victim of COVID-19 and until now, there is no vaccine that will have to cure the patient. But there are some countries with the help of World Health Organization or WHO are now creating the vaccine that will save the whole world, especially those countries who are struggling in fighting this virus. Well, we all know that Philippines is one of those countries that really needs help based on my, based on my observation. Philippines don't need the vaccine or wait for the vaccine because some countries like Thailand, Korea, Taiwan, Vietnam found an early solution for the problem and they don't wait for the vaccine because they know that they don't want to wait to rise the number of COVID-19 cases. And I think that the government and citizens do their task to stay at home even though there is no lockdown. And they discipline themselves. themselves. Their government put their citizens as their priority. They banned flights from Wuhan, China, where is the COVID-19 outbreak. Their, their, governor, their government gives or made a concrete plan for the country and for their citizens that makes me realize that if, if they can do things, if, if they can do those things, we can do it as well. For me, coping up with the new normal starts with acceptance and be responsible. Accept the fact that we need to cope up with the changes that the new normal is for us to be safe and aware of what is happening. Accept the fact that this is a new life with the, with the rules. Be responsible where I have to think of my health. Where, example, I have, I think I have symptoms and signs. I should report it right away to avoid infect others. Don't be selfish and think about others. Remember, you are responsible to your health. After all, this pandemic brought us together to take the to take care of the people around us, to be kind and helpful. Recently, the two super typhoons hit our country. Luzon is the most affected island in the Philippines. As you can see, these typhoons is not just a simple typhoons because it is dangerous. People are missing and some are, some are dying. My heart is aching for the victims of these typhoons, especially those people who lost their homes and it's really hard to see that our country is um, this, our country is suffering right now where in poor citizens doesn't have a choice and people are losing their jobs because companies are shutting down I just hope that the government government make some action towards this kind of situation like for example the supply the supply of face masks will never run out again concrete plans about co fighting covid 19 like mass testing and should focus more to the main problem like covid 19. they should use the funds for the projects that we really need right now and not the projects that are unnecessary this pandemic taught me to become courageous and kind to others you see, all this happening makes us realize that we need to be kind to each other and, because we don't know how and when our life will end. Life is too short to not give love and show some kindness to others, especially in this kind of situation. I hope, guys, this vlog um, explains a lot to you. And, yeah, I hope that my opinions are relevant and I hope that this vlog makes you understand about the situations that's happening right now. And yeah, last one, wash your hands or your mask, disinfect, always, yeah, and distance yourself. So yeah, we can save lives by, you know, wash, washing your hands. And stay at home, please. If you don't have, uh, like, you don't need to go outside. You don't really need, like, yeah. Okay. So I hope you guys to take care, to take care of your health, to take care of yourselves, and fighting. No, I, I know you're strong. I know you can do this. So yeah. 
I love you all. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.